it's annoying every year. It's annoying to me because I'm a purist. It's amazing to me how reading comprehension is so difficult for so many people. Look at this. This is an absolute punt. How do when how and when do punts happen? Absolute punty puntimeter. Aren't you impressed? <laughs> How long were you in the Navy? 22 years. 22 years. Thank you for your service, buddy. Hey, I work hard every motherfucking day, yeah, yeah, yeah. I work hard, I work hard every day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Today is my day. It's my day. Good morning, everybody. Here we are in the uh, swingy thingy. You know, the puppies over here. What's up, puppies? What's up, puppies? Enjoying the sun. Nice to be home. You know, it's tough doing that grind, sleeping in the break room and this and that. And the 10 a.m. Man, they've been tough. I never do them. This year we did a few. And it led to something that we need to discuss. So I played the 10 a.m.s, you know, it was on day three of the 3K. Then jumped into the Super Turbo Bounty. Then was like, okay, the 10K PLO, you know, that's an important one. So we got to make sure we're well rested. Took a nap for an hour, made the coffee, went in. Mistake. What I should have done is made the coffee, relaxed a little more because I was still, quote unquote, like kind of hung over from that deep run. Wasn't fully ready to play. Uh, when I'm fatigued, crazy things happen. So we're going to get, and we're in, in the interest of full accountability here, we are going to... Uh, Take a look at a key hand we didn't even discuss yesterday. And we have a we have a, um, an oopsie meter, right? Okay, so we're gonna create a category here because this is not an oopsie. This is this is the puntometer. This is an absolute punt. How do when how and when do punts happen? Punts happen when we're extremely tired and we just do stupid stuff from a lack of patience, where we're in a hand we have no business being in. Last night in the PLO, we had a puntometer. Okay. We, uh, we had one that goes in the punt meter. I played a hand that I didn't even belong in, right? I was, now, in fairness, I was a little rusty playing that deep PLO, 150 bigs, usually playing 100 or less, but that's not an excuse. It's just, you know, part of the reason. So I opened a hand. Still don't even have to open. Check call the hand, which was okay. Now in the turn, I just have a check fold. It's just go away. I have the starting stack, which is plenty, 100 big blinds. I'm, nah, what is the, I'm just like, okay, let's make a move here. All right, we check raise. I bet it's 5K, I make it 16K. I got a fucking pair and a gut shot. And that's it, bro. Bottom pair and a gut shot on a two flush board. So I'm saying, oh, bro, I got the wheel. I got three, four. Yeah, that's what I got. I got the wheel when I check raise because that's the nuts. It was ace, jack, deuce, five. I got the wheel. I check raise, right? He called. Rivers a jack pairs the board. And now I'm like, oh, I got a bit, I bet I have 40k, I bet 32. Saying, okay, no, no, bro, no, 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 actually, actually, no. Uh, I didn't have three, four, bro. I, I got ace jack or, or aces. <laughs> it's like telling a story where what you said you had, oh, no, 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 I, I changed my mind. That's important when you're running a bluff. But the, in this case, like, he's really only supposed to call me with ace jack. He, anyway, he went all in for my 8k and I folded. Is uh, I pair deuces. Okay, just we'll just leave it there. So that goes in the <laughs> puntometer. We got one in the puntometer this year. So today we are going to relax a little bit. Look at these guys chilling out. Mm, what a beautiful day it is here in Las Vegas with the puppies. We're going to relax a little bit. We got the mixed triple draw later. It starts at two. We're not going on time. We're going to go late. It starts with heaps of chips. And we'll bring out the laptop and we'll play the 1K PLO. And uh, being well rested. Like, this is what I say, you know. This is the most important thing. Rest. And that, I mean, whatever. That's what led to it. That's what led to our first absolute punty puntimeter. All right. While we watch yesterday's vlog, we've got breakfast. Just showed up. Uber Eats or Postmates. This is courtesy of bowlology this is an asahi bowl with all the goodies in there i don't know if we can finish that well, well we can it's fat june look at that huh <laughs> that's yummy well look who's up it's the princess still hi. here hi amanda you're so busy why are you awake so early it's so early you got busy you're busy running around like crazy i'm running sick so are you headed down there to play the tag team event 
to the esthetician. <laughs> no, we're playing tag team, I thought. Is that really today? Yeah. Who are you playing with? You. You're a liar. No, it's are you today. Really it's a 1K. I already bought us in, babe. Okay. You need Should to go I, now. I should cancel my appointment. Why are you not there then? Because I, I want you to take the early level so I don't punt. Okay. <laughs> and then I'll <laughs> take over later when you build a big stack. Okay. Sound like an idea? Yeah. No. No, it doesn't. Okay, okay, I'm, Botox. Kidding. I'm gonna veg for a bit and then go in later. Hey, buddy boy. What's your good boy? What's your good boy? What's your good boy? All right. Hold on. I'm getting Love you. Bye. Love you too. Bye. Hold on. Hey, put you, put you, put you, put, put, put. Okay, you're in front of the TVs. Bye. Let's go this way, guys. Little buggers getting their walk. They love the walk, sniffing and smelling and doing their business. We got the baggies, as I said. Responsible pet owner. Yeah, it's not so hot out. I mean, if it's too hot, they can't walk. But it's 89 right now. I try to take them in as much shade as I possibly can. There you go. Fertilize that bush. Good boy, Apollo. You you give them a little something something too, Rocky. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Yep. You go, boys. All right. While we're on this little walk, I'm screwing around on Twitter. Get involved with it. It's timer again each year for the Poker Hall of Fame. You know, and I get a vote and stuff. And it's annoying every year. It's annoying to me because... I'm a purist. I look at the actual criteria and it's as if n most people don't understand it. Here's the deal. The way the criteria is written, you ran, you have, you can't vote. You simply cannot vote because you haven't played with these people. One of the most important part of the criteria is respected by his peers at high stakes and stood the test of time in those games. What ends up happening is the public, like you guys, you're like, I know that name. I'm voting for that guy because I like that guy. What other Hall of Fame do they do that in? Every other every other Hall of Fame, they look at the numbers, you know, whether it's baseball. It's okay, hit 300, had this many home runs, whatever. He qualifies based on his stats. Not because he was a nice guy. Not because he contributed to the game. It's amazing to me how reading comprehension is so difficult for so many people who look at this. As a player, contributions to the game, likability, nothing to do with it at all. It says, or, non, or for non-players, right? So for non-players, that's what matters. If you're voting based on the uh, contributions category, which I call the Eastside Scheinberg category, because I mean, who's been a bigger computer contributor than that to the game of poker um, that isn't in the Hall of Fame? But as far as like, you know, players go, it shouldn't be based on, well, and it isn't really. What sucks, here's what sucks about the Hall of Fame now, right? It's just the Hall of Fame voters who vote. So it, then it becomes a question of this, like I vote for Esai. But then I knew he wasn't getting it. So I'm like, well, now I'm kind of wasting my vote. Maybe I should give my vote to somebody else, right? So it becomes a little bit like Survivor, where now you're not just voting for the person you think is most deserving. You're voting for who you think can win that is a better choice than, you know, whatever else. So anyway, I'm going to say it because I say it every year. How I would fix the Hall of Fame is this, is this. I would do this. Every single year, two players get in. Players, not contributors. Every single year, two players get in. Every third year... Every third year, we add an additional third person who is a contributor to the game. That would be the Eastside Scheinbergs and the Matt Savages of the world. That's, they would, every three years, one of them would get in. That way, we don't have to constantly compare apples to oranges, right? How are you comparing the contributions of Eastside and, and Savage to Brian Rast or Josh Arie, you know, and, and Jeremy Osmus? How do you do that? You don't really do that. So let's separate it every three years put one of those people in and and you know for me I always vote for the killer there's so many people that are not in the hall of fame that should be because you when the people who nominate don't know who they are ray decargani he's a fucking killer right ted forrest how the hell is he not in the hall of fame guy was an absolute legend. he was literally the best for an extended period of time so i don't know it, i don't know why it annoys me every year it annoys me because i feel like i see things so clearly as a purist and i actually take the time to to do it properly in terms of how i vote but I don't feel as though, I, I really think like, and I listen, I love all the poker media and whatever, but when they voted, my God, it was a shit show. Oh yeah, that guy, he was on TV a lot. Who gives a fuck, right? I don't care. I don't care about that. That's not what fucking should matter. Is he better than the other guys on the list? No. Is he respected at high stakes by his peers? No. Then why are you voting for him? And Brent. All right, today's shirt of the day is apropos. Don't quit, Muhammad Ali, with a little message on the back. Let's read that. Suffer now and live the rest of your life as a champion. Muhammad Ali. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. All right, we out of the shower, we ready. What, working hard, working, 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 making them paintings. I like this one. That I like, right? Uh -huh. She got the Johnny Depp. You didn't paint the Johnny Depp one. I wish. Yeah. That's just, don't, I so, just like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your new little area. 
You chill, uh -huh. paint. Do you know who that is? Yes, of course. Okay. Oh yeah. She didn't eat for a week before in that before that picture. Angela Davis. Angela Davis. Black Panther. That's what's up. You're a Black Panther. Supporter? Yeah. I thought what she did was cool. She cool. She cool. She cool. You know who else is cool, babe? Me? You cool. Thanks. What do you got there? A little seven up, cherry seven up? It's old, don't People, even throw it away. How long has that been there? Just curious. Two days. That's it? Yeah, for real. Wow, all right. We're gonna check back on the seven up can in about a week and we'll let you know if it remains here or has moved on to greener pastures. Fresh. All right, it was good to spend a day at home. Felt like a refresh button, you know, shower, clean up the house a little bit, get nice and clean, wear the don't quit shirt because we got new things to happen. It's almost like I'm glad we hit a punt meter last night uh, to reset ourselves. Now, what's been going on with the series so far? One thing that we've gotten a lot of, which bodes well for the main event, which will be fun to win, I haven't gone deep in a few years, is we played a lot of these big field no limit events. So I have a really good idea of what I want to do going into that. But that's going to wait. Tonight we've got two things on the on the docket. We've got the 1K PLO online, which you must use a laptop for because the software was built in 1983. Um, and uh, so we'll play that, and you get three rebuys in that. So that late reg ends at 6.50. It is 5 p.m. right now. We will likely jump in at 6 with three rebuys, and then just look to gamble the first couple, you know, or the, hopefully the first one, and we're going to double. Because in PLO, you can do that. Like, I mean, you, you're never that bad off, no matter what you have, as long as you have four cards. Um, so we'll do that in the PLO, try to build a stack. And then we've got triple draw mix. So that's deuce to seven triple draw, one of our better games. We've got ace to five, who I was which I was quite good at. You know, there's not a lot of it played anymore, but it was, it was one of my road games, if you will. And then Badoogie, which is probably the of the three, my the game I'm least experienced in. And I know that there's some really good Badoogie players. I know there's a lot to the game. It is very intricate. There's a lot of cool things you can do. I'm not a, I wouldn't, I'm not a professional, you know, Badoogie player. I'm probably an, un, like if I was gonna play in a, you know, a Badoogie game with good players, I'm a big underdog in that. Good news is we got a couple games that I, I feel like I'm a significant favorite in. And uh, what that means is I will probably play a pretty straightforward game in the um, in the Badoogie for the most part. Just play a little more snug, not do a lot of crazy wild things like I uh, tend to do in the other two games. So that's that. Driving video complete. On our way. Day whatever. Keep on trucking. All right, we here in the steam room, I've made the executive decision. Coffee is pouring. We got uh, we got this thingy here because you can't use the Wi-Fi everybody else uses because you get booted. Then we got the World Series of Poker ready and on there. What I'm, what I'm thinking to do now is because we have till 6.50 to late reg this thing and, and during the rebuy period, we're gonna be going a little wild. So I feel like, you know what? No rush to get to the triple draw. We're gonna make the executive decision to just start in here on this online event through the rebuy period, see where we're at and we have to 11 p.m. to register for the um the triple draw there is a rebuy in that too so we won't we'll get in there at about seven or eight ish we'll see but for now i'm gonna focus first and foremost building a stack in this p l and o register okay all right so this guy clearly didn't know that we had three rebuys left this is how it went raised here i flatted he potted i called Floppy bit small on deuce, deuce, deuce. I call. Turn eight, he jams the whole thing. I have three rebuys left, and you're trying to bluff me. Bro, let's get real. So we got chippies now. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> All right, so we got mission accomplished here in this online shindig. Uh, rebuy's just about to end. I think there's a minute left. This might be the last hand before rebuy ends, and we're not going to play it. 6.50 is the time. So we got 71,000. Average is 58, so we did quite well. And uh, what we're going to do is the break is at 6.55. So rather than be playing while I'm running through the halls, I'm going to go on break to the kiosk -y thingy, print a ticket, and then we're going to go play triple draw. It's six or seven-handed, I think, so we should have room on the table to put the laptop, um, and it'd be rather comfortable. So a little bit of distraction coming, but I feel like we can handle it. You know what I'm saying? Although six max makes it a little tougher. Should I play this hand? Well, when in doubt, I'm gonna fucking fold. Yeah! <laughs> oh, why is it not folding? This freaking software freezes on me. Okay, it folded. I folded five, five, six, eight. Aren't you impressed? <laughs> okay, let's go.
So we don't have Alan Kessler yet. I'm sure he's around here. But look at this thing right here. Look at this beauty. This I should make these available, right? Where did you? Where how did you? Did you make this yourself? Made it myself. You can make a edition, killing. One of one. That is beautiful. Yeah. Oh, I've perfect. Been offered six hundred for it. Six hundred? Turned it down, obviously. Turned it down. Yeah, nice call. All right, this is the office today. We got some chippies over here and we're on the bubble pretty close and we've got aces and I'm not a chicken. So we're gonna raise pot because I'm not chicken and we're going with it. Oh boy, there's an ace. <laughs> Flop is ace, deuce, deuce. <laughs> I'll bet small, buddy. Bet 10K. <laughs> See if he wants to play with me. Ow, and I got the nuts. <laughs> Come on, oh, you raised me? He raised me on an ace, deuce, deuce. What is happening right now? What is going on over here? I need to raise this hand. He folded. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> that was cute. What the hell? I don't even know what's going on. All right, we're still in. I'll be back. Sorry. Fuck. So, uh, I, mean, I was sitting there the whole time. He could have said hello. And then he waits like one break. Right, not everybody watches the vlog. That's obvious. So we busted the PLO, we made the money, we cashed. Um, and we didn't punt, played really well. I raised with five, six, seven, eight. Big blind called, came king seven, five. And we have backdoor flush draw as well. Two pair open and straight draw, he checks, we bet he check raises. Basically to put me in, obviously can't fold the hand. He had like king nine, five something. We turned an eight as well. So we could hit an eight or a seven or a four or a nine. But it won't, it didn't come, so that was that. And we're uh, we we started out okay in the triple mix. Lost about four hands in a row. Start with 35, got 29. Not worried about that just yet. But at least we can focus on one thing. Oh dear. Sweating for Sakurchi's tournament life. Rast on the cusp of the championship. Okay, he's improved to the 87. Now Sakurchi needs to hit a seven, six, five, or three. And apparently he's done none of the above. Forgive me. Did we already see his card there? I don't know that we did or we didn't, but in any event, Brian Rast <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, brother. It's great, has great ended this you. thing. Three-time PPC What's champ, six-time bracelet winner, future Hall of Famer, leaving Talal Shurkirji in second place. I've never fucking seen that shit. Earning 818. <laughs> what a tour de force for Brian Rast on the way to history here. While on break here, I see that Brian Rast, for the third time, has won the Poker Players Championship. Let me make a case for why Brian Rast deserves to be in the Hall of Fame of all of any players. I think it's a good case. First and foremost, he has six bracelets. He has won the PPC, which is the most prestigious mixed game tournament in the world, three times, which is insane. Um, in addition to that, he's a high-stakes cash pro in both big bet and mixed at the highest levels everywhere. Online at Bobby's room, in Vegas, in Macau, you name it. Like, he literally crushes the criteria. And the question is, there's other people that crush the criteria too, right? But no one, no one remotely close, in fact, based on this win, to Brian Rast. I think he should be a shoe in I imagine that most people will support him. I don't think, if you're another one of the, I've, I've talked to some of the other guys, and they're great. You know what? Even the other nominees say, Rasty deserves it. Rasty should get in. So what case can you make for anybody but Rast? I can't. I mean, I understand Isai Scheinberg in the builders category, but you know my plan for that, which would be to get him every three years. I don't think it's right to keep Brian Rast out based on this accomplishment. My two cents. As I said, I was coming back because this gentleman had to give me some, look at this. Look at this. This man, you just retired from the Navy just about a year ago. Yes, last right? year. He gave me one of his, what do you call these coins? They're challenge coins. Challenge coins. He gave, retirement. Isn't that cool, right? How long were you in the Navy? 22 years. 22 years. We're supposed to say thank you for your service, right? Yeah, no. yeah let's go with that. Thank you for your service, buddy. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. And you were in the vlog last year. I don't remember for what. I just something. walked in, I was right next to you, sticking my head in. Oh, so you're a big part of it, got it. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing some giveaways all summer, but you can't win unless you're a subscriber. So please do me a favor, click the subscribe button down below. Okay, last break of the night. We ended with like 35,000 exactly, oddly, which is what you start with. So we have starting stack. We did it on one bullet. Uh, I got a little short at one point. I was like, okay, well, we can gamble and rebuy. We didn't need to. We broke about even. Man, man. Tough over here. <laughs> They're crazy going on. Security tough today. Um, so yeah, we got 35k. We got two more hours to play. Um, yeah, um, um, it's about that. Nothing interesting at all to talk about in terms of hands. It's just I made some hands. I didn't make some hands. They made some hands, and all that jazz. 
All right, so they just called last three hands of the night. I was all in for the big blind, ace, whatever. <laughs> Who cares? I was all in. Uh, I, I thought I played really well in this one, honestly. Um, yeah, overall, just, you know, think about triple draw. It's a great game, high variance game. A lot of hands are just sort of in there with. Like an ace to five, you get ace, two, three, four. It's like you're never really folding. Although a couple times I did find some really good folds where I had some very strong draws but made good reads that I was dead. So I folded and saved the bet here, saved the bet there. Lost with a couple eights in a row, this and that, blah, blah, blah. But uh, much better. I was telling Amanda before I finished. Worst case scenario is like, I finished the night with two bets. Like I'd like to either just get it up, you know, get, get up to average or have a chance or, you know, be dust. So that way we're not pressured to come back here for day two. So tomorrow we can focus on one for the first time, I think, in a 10K for the very first time being able to go on time the first few all the game they were all on game nights you know we got there on time for the 50k but for a 10k we have not so plan is show up 2 p.m tomorrow do it all over again see you peeps